All right, man, what's your name? Right on the door. Yeah, I can't read. What's your name? Don't be a buddy. You're going to make this way more difficult than it has to be. Can I help you with something? Yeah, I asked you your name. Can you use words? My name is Sean McFadden. Okay. Right on the door. Right, so if I can't read, you're just going to point at the door? Like, why do you have to do that, shit? I think you need help, bro. You need some like anger management, some counseling, maybe some family therapy, maybe an emotional support elephant. I want to do a um, a records request for what you had for lunch because that bathroom smells right, bro. You dropped a serious dookie. <laughs> Thanks for your service. What's going on, guys? We're at the Rowley Town Hall and Public Library. You'll remember them because of this. Need some advice though, like if you're, if you're telling me I need to stop doing things that you don't know anything about. Oh, you need people's permission to film in public. You do, really? You need for somebody. Maybe you should, maybe you should check out the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. I don't need permission from you or anyone else. So go back, like I said, go back to minding your business and not mine. Shh. Shh. Huh? What are you taking pictures of? Just curious. Um, just. I'm with her. And I'm with him. Yeah, we're together. We're together. Oh, just taking pictures. Uh, taking pictures and video of like, yeah, of, like everybody and everything. Yeah. Not a good day for my work, so. I can't hear you. Why? Why what? Why are you filming? Um, because you're talking to me? You know you're not supposed to film people without their permission, right? I'm what? You know you're not supposed to film people without their permission, right? Since when? It's illegal. It's illegal? I believe so. Oh, no. Well, you believe wrong. Do I? Right? Yeah, there's no expectation of privacy in public, and right now you're in the parking lot of the right. town hall. Huh? I don't understand what you're I was filming something else until you no, wanted to mind my business instead of yours. May I ask why you're filming? Sorry? May I ask why you're filming? Oh yeah, I'm just taking pictures and video of everyone here today. Okay, I thought you're supposed to ask people's permission before you videoed them or took their pictures. Yeah, I'm sorry, you have to do what? I thought you were supposed to get people's permission before you videoed them or took them their pictures. I mean, I could ask them, but I don't have to. You don't have to? No. Where are those pictures going? Uh, I'm going to disperse them on social media. Don't put any of me on there. I do not want any part of social media. Hmm. Well, I mean... Are you recording me now? I've been... I've been yeah, we've been recording. Okay. Well, don't put me on there. <laughs> You're already I am there, not on social media. I do not want to be on social media. You have no right to put me on social media. Well, and so, do you have a, a copy of the book, um, The U.S. Constitution, here? I'm sure we can find one. Because if you just check the very first page, it'll tell oh. you that we can absolutely do this without your permission. Jean. But thanks, Jean. Yep. Smells like a skunk in there. Hey. How you guys doing? Hey, what's going on, man? Hell of a mustache, man. Good for you. Do you have to wrangle a skunk in there? Yep, you smell it. Oh, man, poor guy. <laughs> yeah, luckily it didn't spray me, but the... Uh, I was going to walk by and I smelt it. I was like, I know that. My dog's got hit before. Yep, even being in the vicinity, I still smell it. Oh, man, that sucks. Ruins the day. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you. I just was... It's either weed or a skunk. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah. Yeah. You, you haven't been smoking the skunk, have you? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> I didn't think so. All right. Have a good one. You too. This is where the Irish guy flipped out on me and told me it was illegal to film, yeah. and I said that's why you guys lost the war. <laughs> And then the old lady next door lost her mind. Oh, they got signs up now. Wow, look at all sorts of signs. After I come, there's all sorts of signs. They learned. Pretty much. There's some other things I'm doing, but you're good. You don't have to get up or anything. Of course you're 
we're just checking in on our uh, I got, city officials. I got this new extender pole, so I'm just trying out the 360. Just that way I can get like a good layout. Thank you. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how you doing? Can I help you? No, I'm good. I'm just grabbing some uh, video here. Morning. Do you work here at Town Hall? Yes, I do. What do you? Are you a select person? I work in this office. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. What's your name? Rosemary. Rosemary. Nice yeah. to meet you, Rosemary. Thank you. The animal control guy is pretty nice. Yes, he is. Yeah. You guys Excuse are me. lucky to have him. They're calling every office to say we're here. You hear that, guys? Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good. Good morning. Good morning. Afternoon. Yeah, afternoon, yeah. Oops. Okay. Yes. Can help you? Good you guys, I have no stuff? sense in time. Do you need anything? Can no. Help you with anything? No, nothing you can help me with. I'm just taking uh, some videos over here. Thank you. It's good to use this in a place with high ceilings because mm -hmm. you can really get a good layout of the room and kind of see how everything's mapped out and you get a much better view of like what's on the desks and stuff. I've got one on order. <laughs> It's really good to have. I mean, it's and it's just it gives you great panoramic views and cityscapes. Oh, go ahead. I still want to do your show. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. We'll get out of your way. Hi, yeah. I'm good. I'm going to be the exercise next for my car. Treasurer and collector. Howdy. What's your name, my friend? Hey, what's your name, man? Oh, he doesn't want to talk. Is that another person that needs some butt hurt cream? Oh, he had a little tood. A little tood going on. Well, that's not good. Let's see here. You're going to give me an attitude. You can make sure you clear off your desk. Look, this is, uh, well, look at this nice plaque commemorating a hundred years of Rowley Town Hall. That's nice. It's like a bronzed plaque. Is, you, uh, is it wood or? Oh yeah, it's wood. See, I got the polarizing sunglasses on. It makes everything look weird. Sean M. McFadden, who is the principal assessor. Some old pictures in there. That's nice. Did the Slickman's office close the door? No, it was closed when I walked in. Oh. That's perfect. Now I can kind of do my business and leave my camera there. Mm -hmm.
the tripod view. That is awesome. Does it look good? Is it centered? Yes. yes. It makes me jealous. I want one of those. Well, I mean, the, the higher it gets, the more it kind of sways and like a little bit. But if you're inside, it's usually pretty good. It keeps a nice, like, steady, steady frame. Mm -hmm. I haven't really tried it out inside yet. This guy's name is what here? The guy that went and hid in the bathroom? He's the principal assessor. The principal asshole. <laughs> signs in here. Alright man, what's your name? Right on the door. Yeah, I can't read. What's your name? Don't be a dick, buddy. You're gonna make this way more difficult than it has to be. Can I help you with something? Yeah, I asked you your name. Can you use words? My name is Sean McFadden. Okay. Right on the door. Right, so if I can't read, you're just gonna point at the door. Like, why do you have to do that shit? Uh, do you need help? Can I help you with that? I think you need help, bro. You need some like anger management, some counseling, maybe some family therapy, maybe an emotional support elephant. I don't understand. We're nice to every single office. And so this guy has no one to blame but himself. He wants to be a real asshole. He needs an emotional support elephant. Yes. I agree. Here we go. This guy's a gopher. He should go for another job. Make a potty. Now I took a pee. I just want to let it be known that it wasn't me that blew up that bathroom. How is this dude? I want to do a records request on what he had for lunch. And you can't sneak up on anybody with this creek. Oh, that was awesome. Hey, Sean, I just need to do a records request with you, man. Okay. Verbal one's fine. I can do, I have the right to do it with an individual office. Yeah, I just told you, I'm going to give you a verbal records request. What would you like? And I have the right to give it to a specific office. Like? I want to do a, um, a records request for what you had for lunch, because that bathroom smells right, bro. You dropped a serious dookie. <laughs> Thanks for your service. <laughs> Thank you for being so nice, ladies. Have a good day. And that, that's how it works. If you're nice to us, we're nice. We're in and out. Like these ladies, all the other officers are very nice. We're nice to them. We're in and out. Um, this guy, Sean, wanted to be a, a turd monkey. So he got the business. Now he's going to have a rough day. All right. I'm okay if he wants to apologize for being rude before I, uh, and then I'll just file a formal complaint with them. Hello. just wanted to thank you guys for, well, two things. I wanted to thank you for being so nice. Everyone in the town hall is very, very kind, very, very nice. Um, and I, I am going to file a formal complaint against Sean. If you'd like to apologize for his behavior, I always give them that opportunity before I file a complaint. And then I show up at all the town meetings and, you know, I, I go for his job. So I do normally offer that uh, to people, an apology or a job. So if he wants to apologize, he can. If not, then I can just fill out the complaint and go that route. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. How, how are you looking to file a complaint? By email? Well, I could file it in person if he doesn't want to apologize. 
That's fine. Did you want a piece of paper? Or sure. What yeah. are you looking for? A piece paper? of paper and a pen's fine, yeah. Okay. Did you want to know what he did? or? <laughs> Usually at that point, people say, well, thank you. What well, is it was that he did that you're... I don't know. I'm going to complain. Take a note if you you know, want, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's good. You can apologize for his attitude, save everyone a whole lot of trouble, or I could show up to every single select meeting, town meeting, yeah. and then the whole... That's fine. Yeah, if you leave a note, we can give it to the select member. If you put contact information on there. I'm going to go see if he wants to apologize before I give this to you. Because sometimes they want to save their job. I will say, there's not a person I've made this offer to where I didn't come through and take that job. The town meetings, they just get sick and tired of me showing up, so they just can the guy. That's what's happened so far. Let me see here. Sean, I have a formal complaint here for you. If you'd like to apologize, I'll be happy to withdraw the complaint. If you're stubborn, you don't want to apologize, then I'm going to show up at every single town meeting, live stream it, and, you know, the town can be redressed. It's up to you, Sean. What would you like to do? For, for your attitude, for being short, and for just being a prick right off the bat. Okay, I'm sorry for my... Can, can you come out and apologize to me and I hear it through a wall? I'm sorry for my approach. I guess I was a little harsh. Okay, perfect. Cause I was, and you can ask everyone else. I was nice to every other office. Okay. And in the future, that's how I do things. Okay. It's a clean slate. I come in. I'm nice. You're nice to me. No problems. Okay. Okay? All right. Here, then I'll leave this with you. You can trash it so that way it never gets filed. Okay. Fair enough. Great. Have a good day. You too. I won't be filing it. He apologized. He wanted to keep his job. All right. All right. Thanks. Next time, though, if someone says I have a complaint, you know, you say, oh, what happened? I'm so sorry to hear that. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? So that way people feel like their voices are being being heard because if the people feel like they're not being heard, then they redress their grievances and then, you know, people let you know that they, they don't like what they're seeing. That's the biggest part of our our country is people being able to redress their government. So their concerns need to be, you need to at least pretend like you care what those concerns are. Thank you for your feedback. So do you think that that could have been approached better? Do you think it would have, or would, if someone else came in and they said, I'd like to make a formal complaint, would you have kind of done the same thing, just write it down? or? We always have them put their complaint in writing because I personally wouldn't be addressing the complaint and be the board of selection. People, you know, board of, the representative of the elected body, just to be like, hey, you know, tell me about what happened and makes things a lot easier. Because okay. that, that guy could have just lost his job real easy. I mean, he's just an assessor. I've I've had cops and state reps fired. It'd be easy. You know, sometimes it's easier to just be like, you know, we care. What can I do for you? All right. Thanks. Well, I think we can go out. Uh, yeah, we'll go out this door here. Grab that door for them there. Thank you. Have a great day, Katie. Let's see if um, the libraries learn them some.
this beautiful old cemetery. Very cool. I hope Granny's having a better day this go around. These people are silly. All right, so now we're gonna go in the library here and take pictures and video. Go ahead, ma'am, after you, please. I'll get the door for you. We're gonna take pictures and videos of everything and we'll put this final piece together. Like grandma's not here. Oh, this is about a heist at the Gardner Museum in the 90s, and they still haven't recovered the painting. A very interesting story. I think they've made a couple movies on it. Zoom on this thing's incredible. Hello. You can literally read everything. I gotta tell you, the, the galaxy is just the camera on it. Like, I mean, ju just for that. And the ability to pause, continue is just. Uh, that's why I prefer the galaxy. I tell everybody that. I hope I'm not on camera. Sorry? I didn't I, I hope bat I'm in the... not on camera. Oh yeah, no, I'm just filming and doing some video here. This is the computer area slash study area. Rowley Public Library, adjacent to the Rowley Town Hall. Small towns usually, actually in Massachusetts, have quite the large library. It's a pretty big one for a small town. This is the director's office. It's like a nice bay window down the end there. And there's like a nice little um, bench kind of couch over here by the bay window where you can sit down and get some natural light. Very, very nice. Side. 
So I think I got everything down here. Like all the people and everything. So now we can just upload it and put it right on the internet. Okay. Alright. I don't think there's an upstairs. I'll check. We can get some shots up there also. Okay. And then we'll just, we'll dump it all. <laughs> we'll, we'll dump it all over the internet. Okay. Alright. Did you get the computer stations over oh, yeah. there? Oh, yeah. You did. And the study area here and the yeah. couch down at the end. Sweet. I think that I'll just get the computer at the end there and then the charging station will be out of here. channel where I have like 200,000 followers I like to show them like all the nice old buildings and stuff and like where they can go to sit like that's a we really like the bay window you know and small towns huge libraries so tell people to leave the city come to the small towns and enjoy what they got here it's beautiful right thank you well, and then this I guess this is a young adult section over here well, that's nice little couches. That lady was really nice. Like, sometimes they don't want to be on film, but we could still talk it out. Because I'm not going to walk around and keep filming her, but I'm also not going to delete it. I don't think there's a second floor. Is there a second floor here? No. I didn't think so. I've been here last time, but I couldn't quite remember if there's a second no, floor. just one floor building. Is that is that a good one? I don't know. I'm just starting it. Are you just reading it? Uh, yeah. It's cute. It's I'm cute. the same way. I read... Lots of kids' books. I think my favorite one of all time is um, "Love You Forever." Okay. That's a that's a good old fashioned one. I think mine is "My Truck Is Stuck." My truck is stuck. I I've not read that one. Yeah, it's cute. It's very rhymy. Well, we have a is little one on the way. Is? is that like a reference rack? No, those are just our returns. Oh, okay. This one I remember the old days that we had. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's no kids at all. Sorry. I will film anyone with impunity, but the only thing I don't do is film kids. So I yeah, always, no, you're, it's a quiet time right now. I always, I always, I always <laughs> ask before I come in, just because there's like, at their age. Like, they're already retaining more than they can. They're, they're at no age to understand what the, you know, like, what the First Amendment is or anything. Like, so I just usually ask, but you guys are pretty nice. The last time I came here, there was, like, some seriously, like, old, like, not seriously old, seriously mad older lady. And she was, well, you guys are nice. You're not old, nor are you mean. That lady was, to say the least, a combination of both. Well, and, uh, does she still work here? Um, yes. I she does? Yeah. I guess it's good I came today because I didn't want her to have a conniption. I was, <laughs> and last time she about blew her top, I thought her, her wig was going to go flying <laughs> off. Or her hair or whatever. But thanks very much. I like the sweatshirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Well, great job to the library here. And the Wicked Witch of Fiction is not here today, so that's good. All right, very nice. Thanks again. You too. Get right over here. A lot of paintings. Now we can just get some video of everyone walking in and out. So we can put it in the video. Alright.
Oh, you can like rent metal detectors and stuff. That's pretty cool. They have metal detectors here for rent. I think it's free, yeah. Well, I mean, in this these areas, you find a lot of stuff from the Revolutionary War and, you know, castings and musket balls and all that stuff, so... I can see why it would be... why it would be popular in this area. You never know, like, what you're gonna find while you're, while you're out there looking. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. Have a good one. I think we got all the shots of everyone walking in and out. We got all the all the stuff, so oh we'll head on out of here. I get a shot of the cemetery before we leave. Good luck. All right, guys, that's a cemetery over there. Pretty significant and interesting historical area. It's always good to give you guys some B-roll so you can see what's around. Sometimes I do that. Most of the times it just starts at the door, we're going in, but this time I wanted to show you a little bit of what it looks like. Right? And it's uh, quite the mixture of cemetery gravestones from 1700 all the way up to 2000s. And that's the reason I stopped you today.